Hello everyone and welcome to this special episode of Food Fantasies The Daily Grind. I've realized that in the last episode we did not have a lot of PvP action, therefore we're going to have a little special episode just about PvP, and after that we're going to take care of some other things. But let's jump right into the PvP. But I'm realizing right now my team power is not where it should be as you can see um, therefore I will quickly check that I am very sorry but maybe this is also interesting to you so picking duck is for one we are definitely lacking a fallen angel here yes as for fallen angels in PvP I will talk about that after we've gone and done some PvP so let's just jump right in here that's the number, that's the team. Let's choose our opponent. Uh, that gives us the most points, but this is the most challenging. Um, I think for recording, I will go with the most challenging. Slime Boy, if you happen to watch this, big, out, big shout out to you. Your team looks pretty solid. Um, this will definitely be a bit of a challenge and an interesting fight. So here goes. <laughs> Team composition wise, this is pretty much standard on both our sides. Uh, one tank, four DPS. I do feel, however, that he has a slight edge with having um, Mooncake in there. It'll depend. I, I just got a really good stun on him though, so this is probably in my favor now. Yeah. That stun was really good. Um, he is getting his special attack on his picking duck though. That could that could have been that could have been really close there. Um but yeah, good team. Good team. I feel like in the end it pretty much only came down to numbers. I, I had 3000 more uh, power, so just a bit more powerful. The team compositions were almost identical, almost. Um, but yeah, good fight, good fight. Now let's see, this is... Eh, there's nothing special in here, let's just go with that one. I find it a little sad that you have almost no control over what happens to you in the PvP. That's the one thing I wish the game would kind of include as well. A little bit of a control for you. As you can see this team is really not posing much of a threat. Um, both from the team composition and from the power level. Although the team composition is not bad. We have a tank, a strength food salt, two magic food salts, one healer. That's a pretty good standard team composition, but that's just what it is. Standard. And not always is standard the best. Now let's see, we get 14 points from Reyna. But Golden Soul SD uh, looks like he has the stronger team. He does have a healer though, so I do think this is gonna be mighty in my favor. His black tea is strong though, and bamboo rice is always pretty strong. So let's see, I think we're gonna go with that even though we're not gonna get as many points here. But it looks like the better fight. <laughs> Now he's lacking a tank, that is probably the biggest downfall here, since we're gonna make quick progress of his bamboo rice. And then the fight is really in our favor, because we have 4 DPS attacking him, while he's still on my on my tank. And now, now he just doesn't have the damage output anymore to really keep up, and Milk just can't heal enough to keep up with my damage output as well. We might lose Foibo. Yeah, yeah, there we go. She's down. Um, all in all, this is closer than I thought. Closer than I thought. I thought this was gonna be much, much more in my favor. Uh, there you go. You, you 
can always be surprised. Uh, this is a joke, right? I always hate this. I, I wonder who does this. I know some people want to make easy teams for other people to defeat, but this is so annoying. Um, really annoying. So let's just let's just go with um, this one. Um, the reason I'm going with this one is because it gives me more points and because I really want to see what the chibi for Cold Trim looks like. Actually, I actually have no idea. That's so cute. Look at her. <laughs> She's quickly defeated though. It's, that voice is really nice too. <laughs> I feel so bad for killing them. I feel so bad for killing them. I should not have done that. Alright. Again, what's up with this? Guys, this is not cool. I dislike this. This this should be competitive. Anyway, this is the best fight we can get and the most points, so let's go with that. Most of the time I'm a bit disappointed with PvP. Um I reckon this is because I am not the top level yet, so there's there's obviously going to be players that aren't, you know, really as competitive. But we're going to get there. This is why we have the daily grind to get to the max level, which is currently 80. So I am 24 levels away still. That was recently raised from 60 to 80. I had hoped that I could get to 60 before the level cap was raised. But no such luck. I started the game a little too late. Anyway, we got some points. Let's check the store. Uh, B52 shards. That's what you want to see. The tip store is also recharged. So let's go ahead buy everything we can in here and I'm gonna buy a one omrise chart because 20 tips is really not gonna be yeah let's buy that one too 20 tips is nothing this is pretty expensive though, and it's just 30 stamina now PvP out of the way now we can get to the fun bits first of all I have finally accumulated enough to get the Eisenfine wine frame. Pretty cool. This is my first frame. So we're gonna go ahead and equip it right away. Change frame. And we're gonna go. The frame I want the most is this one, by the way. I find this frame really pretty. This is the one I want the most, but it is also not really easy to achieve. Another one I would like to have is this one, the Dream Threads. Dream Threads, oh, I can't talk. Um, although, <laughs> these are definitely the prettiest. But they're also <laughs> very expensive. Okay, we have our first frame. Great. I think it fits. It suits me. There we go. We have a little bit to do here. Uh, nothing too major. Nothing big, nothing big. Just the typical daily grind. Now, for more fun activities though, I said we would talk briefly about fallen angels in PvP. First of all, the food salts you want to be using for PvP are food salts that are both strong, have high attack speed, and skills with crowd control. This one in particular silences the enemies. And if I just go through, we have a stun here. And um, we do have a um, charm. And we also have uh, increasing the damage they receive. Crowd control is really the most important what you want to have. Of course, there's specific food salts that deal a lot of damage, um, specifically Sanma, but, you know, I don't feel like that's the best for PvP, because for PvP, crowd control is really what you want to have. That said, this is also a great team for the catacombs and for the stages, the quest stages. As for fallen angels, for PvP, I don't know. 
I have actually seen people who have one line of defense rather than one line of HP as I have here. However, I do suggest that you have a brave. Uh, where can we see that? Uh, and smelt, I think. A brave personality for your food so and that you have three times attack and then one other line I go with HP because as I mentioned in the previous episode HP is doubled during the PvP so you're getting double out of this if you have defense maybe that's better for something like the world boss but it's not gonna be as good for PvP. I am a very competitive person, I want to be stronger than other people, I want to win PvP a lot, therefore I'm focusing a lot on that instead. And it also helps during the catacombs to stay alive. Now there was one question that I was actually asked between the last episode and this episode, so I'm going to answer it right here, but I'm also going to message this person privately ask, uh, answering her this question. The question was... How do I re-roll for higher stats? Because obviously if you look at this Fallen Angel you will realize it is almost perfect. Almost meaning it has almost the highest number you can have in terms of enhancing. It's a plus six and at this stage it's already hard. To get it up, I think now we're looking at a 40 or 30% chance to enhance. Plus 10 is obviously the best, but this is already pretty good. And we have 3 out of 4 legendary rolls. Now if I wanted to go ahead and roll a new stat for this, the way I personally do it is that it depends on what stat I have right now. If we look at another if we look at this you can see I have blue stats in here rare ones and in this one I have a green one which is just I don't even know uncommon I guess I guess that's called uncommon you have uh, normal which is the white ones you have uncommon which are the green ones you have rare which is the blue ones then you have epic which is the purple ones and you have legendary which is the golden ones now depending on what I want to re-roll I will choose from I will choose the amount I want to spend based on what I want to re-roll in this case if I wanted to re-roll this I would probably try to do it with as little as 20 or 10 even depending on how important this fallen angel is fallen angel is but usually I'd go with 20 for an uncommon if I want to reroll that into at least a rare I would go with 20 and then what I do is that I am NOT greedy when I want to increase this uncommon stat and I get a blue one a rare one I stop even if I still have 11 left to go I stop because I only reroll a rare stat if I have at least 30 of the spirit incarnators which are which are needed. You need one of these to reroll a stat. So if I if I have a blue one, I want to have have at least 30 or 40 depending on how important this food soul uh, this food <sighs> can't talk this fallen angel is. Therefore, a lot of the times I will just stop. Sometimes I will even stop if I get the same. So let's say I am re-rolling this green stat, this uncommon stat, and I and I do 11, and I've had 20, and so I only have 9 left. I will usually just stop. I, I will stop, I get the same green stat, it's not an improvement, but at least I didn't, you know, ha get anything I don't want. Now if I wanted to re-roll an epic stat like this, for one of my main PvP food salts, I will probably go with a minimum of 50. Maybe even more, but 50 is definitely the minimum that I would have to get there. And I will definitely stop as soon as I get the legendary, uh, the, the epic one, the purple one again. If I get the purple one again, I will just stop and I will wait until I have 50 again. 
see it just depends it just really depends here I have an attack speed on on her which is something that I would probably attempt to reroll no matter what because this this has an attack speed so I can't ruin the food soul you know like even if I get crit or HP or anything it's not really going to make the food soul any worse than it was before so there I will probably if that is my goal uh, we can just go ahead and do that right now if I wanted to to really do something about this then even if I only have three I'm like ah yeah you know let's just go ahead you know because I I really don't care what I get and if I if I buy by some divine intervention get attack I'm happy with it but you know, I'm not ruining this food, uh, this fallen angel. I'm not yet really using that a lot. I'm using it here and there where it's not so important, mostly on healers. Therefore, it's, it's, it's really not that important. I mean, right now it's following B52, but then again, yes, I do use him in PvP, but I'm not too stressed about it. He's, he's my fourth, you know. Uh, DPS uh, I'm winning most of the fights anyway so I'm, I'm in no big stress there yet so I really just to just focus on what what is the the stress level I have for this right now and then how many do I really want to spend and if it's if it's an epic stat on a on a fallen angel that I use a lot with a fallen angel like that I will definitely want to have at least 50 or so I know I know I've talked a lot about this and um, thank you so much for asking me a question uh, uh, I hope this answers your question and I will see you guys tomorrow in the next episode of the daily grind we actually do have our airship here that I could still still do um, I will just click through this, uh, what I have so far. I don't think I have enough stamina to, yeah, I don't have enough stamina to farm the other bits and pieces here. Um, this is mainly because I mostly focus on farming the hard stages. Uh, I don't know, I, I get to the airships eventually. Usually what I'll do is that I will do the airships, I will prepare them. The moment I set sail, I will prepare the next airship. Or I will do that in the morning when, you know, first thing in the morning when I have my stamina completely full, I will do that. Um, and then I will slowly over time buy things in the market. Speaking of which, I think, yeah, I already bought everything in here. But that's it. Special episode. Um, little in-between episode between two um, episodes. The next episode is going to be shorter than the first episode. I will um, try to really bundle everything that's important together. So it's likely going to be something like we're going to do PvP first, then we're going to uh, take care of a restaurant to take a little bit of a breather from combat, then we're probably going to do the world or guild boss or, or just do both of them and uh, then then we're gonna get into a little bit of chit chat, answering questions, looking at some uh, at some gacha or so. If there's an if there's any gacha to do, if we have any boxes to open, you know, and yeah, that's probably um, what I'll do. Um, in terms of catacombs, maybe I will throw in a few catacomb uh, situations here and there I have a little situation right now for example um, that is this that I am currently in stage 40 of the catacombs however I am not really able to get through this so by the time that I figured out how to get through this if I have this um, if I have this enemy team here on, on 40 and I know how to get through it and I can get through it then I will definitely want to show um, that as well maybe for some people who are struggling with these guys but that's all for today I'll see you in the next one Jana